Hello? Renewal update. According to our records, your vehicle may be due for renewal or reinstatement of its coverage. Failure to renew will lead to you being responsible for all repairs and emergency costs on the vehicle. What? Take advantage of low-cost renewal options now by pressing 1 and speaking with one of my team members. Oh. Let's press 1 to speak to one of my team members. This is the UV the Warren Distribution. Can you please verify the year, make, and model of your vehicle so we can pull up your file? V uh, verify the year, make, and model of my vehicle? Yes, what is the year, make, and model of your vehicle? Uh, it's a 1916 Ford Model T. Is that 1940? No, 1916. Okay, think I'd have a great day. Oh, you don't want to talk to me? Oh, that was rude. Welcome back. Sorry, I got rice cakes. There is a bunch of like, well a bunch, there's like maybe like 40 or 50 new YouTube subscribers that uh, you guys have subscribed to me in the last probably like five, six months or whatever that I haven't met. Hey, how's it going? My name's Connor. This is the Connor Glass YouTube channel. It's a really tiny, it's just a really tiny garage. This is it, the whole thing right here. Um, <clears throat> And uh, I fumble through how to do all sorts of stuff on my car. A little bit about my car. It is a uh, twin turboed, twin turboed. They're twin 67, 66s from Precision. Uh, Holly intake manifold, uh, built sleeved fast forward racing engines and lead tuning and racing motor, tuned by lead tuning. It's on a FuelTech FT600, which is awesome. I really like it so far. Uh, the cage and the chassis, the, the cage slash chassis slash suspension work is done by Jason Brazel of Brazel Performance and Fabrication down in North Carolina. Awesome dude. You might know him as the Hookbook Jesus. If you've uh, seen him on YouTube, he's kind of, he's pretty much famous. A lot of this, uh, but basically everything on the car I've done myself. With the, with the exception of the cage, just because I hadn't taught myself how to weld yet. I feel like I've done a couple of cages now on other cars that I've sorted. I could have did the cage my, myself had I had waited, but really waiting was not a really smart option. So that's um, that's that's kind of the story of why I didn't do the cage. Lead tuning it, so lead tuning and racing, obviously huge, huge, uh, huge help for me. He does all my tuning. I source 99% of my parts from Cy, and uh, you know, awesome guy. Him and his wife are like family to me, so. Good, good folks. Been a while since I've done a video. Look weird at myself on the camera. I don't know. I've been all over the place. But like, where have I been on YouTube? Why haven't I made YouTube videos about this car? Right here, this gorgeous car that I've built. Uh, I think it kind of really boils down to one, okay, two things. So we'll, we'll cover the one thing, which is kind of a reason, and then probably we'll talk about what the real reason is. So if I'm just being honest with you guys, if I can't be honest with you guys, then who, I mean, I guess, who else am I going to be honest with? Because you're probably the only people that will understand this. Um, I have built a car that is pretty quick and also kind of terrible to drive on the street. Kind of miserable. It's loud. It's bumpy. Uh, I have to wear earplugs. Seats are pretty uncomfortable. It doesn't have a shader or air conditioner anymore. Who, hey, don't say stuff like that about my car. It's a street car. The suspension, it feels like it's welded directly to your tailbone. It stinks, it gives you a headache. It drives you out like a raisin a little bit because of the exhaust coming into the window. All of this is, you know, kind of like, I'm not complaining about my car. All of that kind of goes to, I don't have a truck and a trailer, which means that I have to drive my car to the racetrack every single time that I go to the racetrack in it which is really the only place that the car should be is at the racetrack because why, it, if you know about the car, what's the point if it's not going to the racetrack? So I've spent a lot of time, effort, and money modifying this car, which really didn't leave a lot of money left over for things like a trailer or a truck. Hindsight probably shouldn't have taken it this far without a truck or a trailer, but this is where we're at now. It is just part of it. I don't, you know, it is It is what it is. So that, that's kind of like the real reason of like, I'm at a point now where what, what's left to do with the car and that's to go and uh, drive it at the track. But I have to drive it 
40 minutes to the racetrack one way, race it, beat the crap out of it, hope that it doesn't break, and then drive it home, which is cool and all. And I can do that, and I could go run, you know, bottom eights, mid eights, and it'd be fine. Um, but like, like all you guys probably already know, like what's the point in going and running times that you know that your car could easily do, that's not what you wanna go do, you wanna go faster and faster and faster, that's just the way that it is. And um, I don't really wanna break it. Uh, that's another thing, I don't wanna break it. For one, it would be a hassle to get it back to the house. Uh, and two, I don't wanna break it because I, with the modifications that I've done to the car, I really don't know that I could like, you know, reasonably afford to fix everything relatively quick. So in the back of my mind, I would rather just have this kick-ass car that runs and drives and I can drive to the gym or the grocery store or to work every now and again when I want to, or to a car show or whatever, um, then take it to the racetrack, go beat on it and break it. And then now I don't have a car that runs for quite a while until I can, you know, save up enough cash to fix the stuff that I broke. Um, so that's kind of like where we're at <clears throat> with the car. The other thing, probably has something to do with it too and that is that it's just kind of my personality type i get like super into stuff like way into stuff and i want to learn everything that there is to know about it not to say that i know everything that there is to know about drag racing and fabricating and all that sort of stuff because i don't i just feel like i've learned you know a lot of stuff that I, I feel pretty confident in my abilities and and it's now it's like i'm trying to find other stuff that interests me that's not to say that i don't have interest in the car um, I do come out here and like tinker with it every now and again and do stuff, but it's really just not enough interest for me to like devote a whole afternoon or two afternoons, you know, or three afternoons, depending on the video. It does, it just is not enough interest for me to devote the, you know, the little time that I have off to doing, um, doing this only in my free time. Now that I'm talking to the camera, I'm feeling particularly obliged to do like an oil change or at least something. So maybe I'll do some sort of something. I'll try to do an edit or something doing the oil change. We'll see how that goes though. <laughs> So I've been doing all sorts of stuff. Don't really film it. Um, ooh, I'll clip this in right here. So my buddies, uh, Brandon and Miguel and I, they're the, oh, there's the owners of Overton Productions, made this video. Just something that I've been having fun doing. Um, so check this video out.
also kind of like, I'm not, I, I would say that I'm no longer kind of like a, I'm not, I felt like a kid all the way up until the last probably like two or three years. I've started to feel more like an adult and to like level honestly with you guys, I've, I get, I've been getting really frustrated with stuff that I'm seeing and recognizing now as an adult that, you know, wasn't really in the forefront of my concerns when I was maybe, you know, four, five, six years ago, I didn't really care so much about, you know, stuff going on in the world and controversial issues and stuff like that. But now as I'm, I've started to kind of like, that stuff kind of matters to me now. Uh, and, it, and, it, and I kind of find some frustration uh, there. There's a little bit of censorship that's going on right now in the world. There's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of misleading. There's a lot of yada yada this and that and the other and and again none of this is anything you know special to me that nobody else is dealing with it's just something that has been you know it's just things that have been bothering me and it really kind of like it just kind of makes it just kind of puts that bigger picture together like i'm, I'm trying to find new things that interest me i don't really know what i'm trying to say i'm trying to say that i still love the car I drove it a couple of times the last few days, which has inspired me to make a video about it. That's kind of where I'm at, like, it doesn't really answer any questions. It just tells you guys why I haven't made a video. And I still have interest in doing it. It just isn't like that burning passion where I was teaching myself how to edit videos and I was learning about cameras and I was learning about angles and I was learning about, I was learning about working on this car and welding and as I was teaching you guys and it was, you know, that was a lot of, I got a lot of fulfillment out of that is learning something and then a couple of days later making a video on it and teaching it to you guys. And, and then going back and watching those videos and going, wow, I, I actually kind of sounded like I knew what I was talking about. Um, you know, and, and you know, I think, I think I do with a lot of stuff. I, I pick things up pretty quick. There's a couple of people that I'd like to thank, like the people that watch my videos regularly, Clinton, Jordan, um, my neighbor across the street, uh, my buddy Frank Simmons, he's always, in, he's always watching videos. Uh, Charles, there's a couple, there's like five, my mom, no, just kidding, my mom doesn't watch my videos. Uh, my dad, my dad watches my videos. My wife, thanks my wife, she always watches the videos, which I hate. My wife, my wife likes to watch the videos too. She watches them like right before bed while I'm sitting next to her, which is the worst thing in the world to listen to yourself, you know, pontificate on camera, on video while you're trying to enjoy your evening watching your channels that you like to watch. I hate listening to myself talk in the background. So I'll have to tell her like, oh my, can you shut that off please? And I'm probably in bed now listening to her watch this video and uh, I'm probably telling her right now like, please turn it off for the love of God. All right, I think that'll probably wrap up today's video. Like always comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.
Okay, I'll run back to the store. Okay, thank you. 